Shalom. All praises to the Mosai. Yehovah, Yehoshua. This is Sounds from YYBY. So, as you see, I'm about to tell y'all the future, you know, the, uh, the features in uh, Bitwig 4.3. It's a beta right now. But uh, so they still working on it. But they got a couple features in this joint. And for those who don't know, now you know. I'm going to just go through them real quick. I'm not about to go in detail and plan with the audio and all that. I'm going to just kind of like give you a report of what they added and try to show you an example of something. Um, As you can see right now, they got the convolution uh, reverb, which is nice. It sounds good. You got to test it out. If you go right here. You got different presets you can pick. And also what's great where you got like the different type of verbs. You click right here. You got the, I like how you got the view. You got real hall springs and, and every one of them, they got a, like a different wave of that style. That's, that, that's creative. I like that. Um, Kind of give you a vision of how it might sound and stuff like that. So that's tough. Yep. Synthetic studio specials. Sound great too. I was playing with it. All right. What's next is that they have a delay plus. They said a delay plus, like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, let's go to it right quick. Delay. Boom. Delay plus right here, as you can see. This is the delay plus. You know, by calling it plus, I guess it do a lot of plus things. Um, I was playing with it a little bit. I can't really play nothing right now because for some reason, man, it's doing a lot of crackling. So when I start playing the audio, it's drawling because I'm not using my original sound card. So I got to figure out another way to get around that. If y'all anybody know, let me know, man, because I'm using a voice meter. That's what I've been using for all my videos. Uh, you see how the meter kind of shooting crazy right now. Look at it. Cuckoo for his Cocoa Puffs. It's on 128 samples because that's the only option I can pick. I can go higher, but it's 40, but it might be a delay or something like that. Late, you see, I don't know. But anyway, um, so you got the delay, you got the ping left, ping right, you got the stereo, and you got the mono. So you could transfer this delay into any form in all of these styles, which is creative. I can't wait to test that out. So that's definitely tough. Um, let's keep going. Because like I say, I'm not going to go into detail. It's a lot of videos that they probably talking about and everything, saying the same stuff over. Going to detail. Um, what else? All right, the polymer grid. Right, let's delete these. They sent it, added a couple uh, like grids and stuff and oscillators and you know, all that type of stuff. So let's see what it's talking about right quick. Let's see. Polymer is actually tough. So it's saying that they added like a new grid, oscillated union, a DC drifting analog inspired oscillator, clickable, clickable toggle, uh, po a post width, any uh ls sing um added some new stuff in here and these little options right here and stuff like that to give like a different type of style and sound so it just they just added more creative stuff to it you know then you no know, i think the sync button right here uh also they added grid filter um what does it say updated polymer it get you know added envelopes and adsr and ar and ad Yo, really, all this stuff is just, just more ways to make it more creative, man. That you know, that's so you can't go wrong with that. It's just more ways to make things more creative in the polymer, and that's all. You know, the polymer is like a a small level of the grid, like a baby brother of the grid, and the grid is off the chain. I'm gonna be real with you. The grid is the best synthesizer ever. There ain't nothing mess with the grid. The grid is off the chain. So you know, not to get off the subject, but you know. Even when you're dealing with the synthesizers and reasons, they tough, but man, the grid is tough, 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 tough. And then you can create your own sounds on a whole nother level. Crazy. It's just all about if you can handle the, the RAMs or the CPU. But 
So the polymer added all type of stuff with it, man. Like small little, you know, like I say, filters and blah, 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 stuff like that. And just to be more creative, different combs and low pass and LDs and low pass. And, and they updated different little small things like that and all that. And they added, uh, hold oh, say all oscillated phase modulation amount knobs now go up to 800 percent uh so they just they just perfect it more and everybody who use it, you know the difference when you play with it all right now another thing what they added let's delete this they added something on the fs tracks let's open up those let's open up the fs tracks um it's saying that FX tracks now have sins of their own, allowing FX tracks to be sent to other effects tracks. So right here, as you can see, it's a this send track is sending to itself and will be delayed by other buffer. So I'm assuming when you click right here and you select another track, you know, you can you can send you can send the uh this effect to that track. And then you can also send another FX track to another FX track. Why would you need that? I don't know. Uh, Y'all tell me, how, you know, what's the purpose of that? When it comes to, you know, uh, yeah, tell me the purpose of that. I think that's creative, though, definitely. And I tried. I played with it. Uh, I think a lot of dogs also, you know, do that type of crazy style like Reaper and and stuff like that. But um, it's saying uh, an FX track sent to an FX track on its right further down on the mixer is sent immediate immediately. So, well, not that. So I guess they're just talking about this right here. I think so. The option where you select it. But they all in different places. I wonder why they're in different places though. I wonder why is that. Um it's an FX track sent to an FX track on its left backward on the mixer is sent with a delay of one audio buffer. Man, you know, I think this I think it's a cool feature. You can't go wrong with it. You can't never go wrong with new features, man. You can't never go wrong with new features, man, because you never know what you might need or what you want to use and stuff like that. You try things, that's when you get real creative. I kid you not. I like, I like going out. You never know. So now, let's keep going. New features. They updated the FX device, the Bit 8. They did some stuff on the Bit 8, you know. Uh, let's type that down. On the bit eight, they said uh, update FX device bit eight now has a anti alias right here, which is this uh, a toggle um, switching in different methods and a different sound. So it got a different sound, and they updated the grid module with an audio out. They updated the grid module ADSR. They said they updated something on the spectrum so. Um, when I was playing with it earlier, you know, everybody know the spectrum. It, you know, it's 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 a graph that comes in handy. I think that when they were saying, hold on, where is that? Updated an analysis device spectrum now has a toggle for frequency range display. Well, I, well this is the toggle, I guess, to turn it on and off. You know, unless they're talking about the buttons down here, though. Because I couldn't, you know, I didn't understand that exactly, but at least you, you know, open it big like normal. Unless it's on the side right here. Uh, let me see. Hmm. You got some interesting features over here. That's tough, though. Yeah, so they did something with the spectrum. They did something with they updated the grid module, the uh the scope. Um they updated the two device test tone. 
Um, they also did something with the group track. They say uh, when a group track is expanded and focus is within it, all ad track functions now create tracks within the group. I don't know what the hell they're talking about, man. Yeah. All right, now, one of the features that I think is cool, it's simple, it's small. It might not be important to some people, but they on the input, you know, inspector, they add like the little icon. So whatever icon, whatever, you know, plugin you use, it'll add it. If it's an audio joint, if it's a MIDI joint, you know, it'll add it right there on the... Uh, so it'll show these icons right here, basically. If it's instrument, you know, you click right here and you add that, blah, blah, blah. It'll show the instrument, the container, stuff like that. So that's cool. You know, they got icons. It'd be dope if they add icons on the tracks. That'll come in handy. Um, so what else? What else? What else? What else? Besides that, like most of these small little features, they just telling you exactly what they did to it. Um, they, they did a couple of improvements. They fixed the uh the no FX layer. They saying notes were not playing correctly from transposing them into different layers. Uh, they did something with something called the note out grid module. They say prop properly clips note expressions, particularly for note grid uses. Uh, they said one ninety two uh KSZ audio playback has sync issues, so they fixed that. Um, what else? Let me kind of go back right quick. Hold on. What the hell? What the hell they got going on? Dial. Oh, yeah. So, without... This is something that I was thinking about, right? So, some people might disagree with this, but it's cool because... Bitwig kind of got like a cooler idea when it comes to, you know, what they do. And what I noticed, like... When I pay for other dolls, right, and you you buy the doll, and you know you get free updates, right? And then when the newer version come out, you got to pay for it. All right, cool. You know what I'm saying? If you're an owner already, then you know you get it for a cheaper price, maybe a hundred and some dollars or two hundred or something like that, whatever. But what I noticed with the pattern of these different dolls is that. They really don't give you no features because, you know, a lot of people be excited when when it's say a new a new update out. They be like, OK, like goodies, like they think about goodies and everything. But a lot of times they say we fix this, we fix that. Of course, we want something to be fixed, but it's still nothing like they it's nothing like new features. Right. So. But the thing is, the reason why these other dogs is not really adding features because they know that they say, hey, we can add this dope feature into the newer version that come out. That'd be a reason for people to buy it. So during these small free updates we giving y'all, you know, that's free. So it just be like small little simple things that's not really a big of a deal or maybe, you know, like, like Studio One at... Out of all the dolls, Studio One add more features on their free update, if you ask me. But it's you know, sometimes it's buggy a lot. That's what I experience. That's what I experience. Um, but the point I'm trying to make with y'all is that a lot of the times with most dolls, they're not adding crazy dope features that you really expecting. That's compete like, you know, when they competing with other dolls. They want they want to add that. It's like a it's like a it's like a money concept. They're trying to make money. So they add that in the newer version, right? And they just fix little small things through the small updates. See, but Bitwig is like when you pay that certain that hundred and something dollars, that's for the whole year. So they have no problem with adding crazy features in it, something very dope or something, another new plugin or 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 new crazy horror feature that. You know you 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 will have to get in another doll when the newer version come out because you, you you paying for that year you it's like you you know you renting it out in Bitwig like you pay for this year whatever you get you get it when the newer version come out you get that too 
So to me personally, some people disagree, but I actually think that's better because the thing is, since version one, when I was messing with Bitwig in version one, they was always consistent of making sure they come out, come out with updates all the time. Hell, what, what, what month is this right now? This is May, I think so. They just came out with two updates in the last, what, week or two, I think so. So, they going to make sure they add some goodies in there for you, man. When you pay that that the whole year, they 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 got a different approach with it. They say, okay, well, even when a newer version come out, Bitwig Five, you get it. As long as you pay that whole year, that price like is you cool. You still own it. It's not like you renting it. You get everything that come in it. You know, people are like nah, yo, you know, uh, man, you know, FL Studio, man, you get light time, you know, updates and everything and all that. Okay, cool. But are they really giving you update updates? Like, because when that, you know, when that newer version come out, you know, I don't know if they give you new updates then because if that's the case, FS Studio would never make no more money. They, they going out of business. So you got to, you got to pay for something. That's only right to keep they, they doll running and, and build it and make it better and better. So you got to invest in your investment. That's a fact. Um... But I get it. Some people just don't got it. But a hundred and some dollars for a whole year, I seen they pattern. They always add crazy stuff to their dolls. You know, it was to a point where I thought they wouldn't really add nothing to it, you know, that I was looking for. But then when the version four came out, I was like, oh, wait, okay, hold up. Whoa. You know, boom. You know, you know, because like I say in my older videos, I always love the simplicity and Bitwig more than any doll. And then Studio One is next. Um, so, but yeah, like that's what made me think about that really because the way they, uh, the way they do there is when you pay that whole year, they gonna give you more goodies of things that other dolls will wait to give you when that newer version come out. And when that newer version come out, you gotta pay for it. All right, this is why why be why. If y'all have an opinion on this, drop it down below. You know what I'm saying? Till you drop to the flow. That's what they say when it rhyme. But anyway, um, yeah, just give me your opinion on that, people. Because uh, you know, all my bitwig users that, you know, they thought I faded away from them. Nah, I ain't going nowhere. Uh, so let me know what y'all think. This is why why be why. Peace.